All right, today I am just going to go into Sea of Thieves and just uh, sail around in a sloop by myself with a closed crew. Probably going to do what I normally do when I'm by myself and just kind of sail around looking for salvage, like just shipwrecks and items that are just floating out in the open ocean. Because, like, bar some of the lower level quests, it's very difficult to actually like do any of the high level stuff by yourself because there's so much shit you have to keep track of <laughs> like I can fight an army of skeletons by myself with relative ease I just don't want to have to do it it'll probably be a shorter video too because like as, as peaceful and rela as peaceful and relaxing as it is to just sail around in the ocean in a boat it's really really boring to watch I may also do a ship uh, a merchant alliance quest because those are usually just hey, take this and go, just take this from point A and put it at point B. Those are usually pretty easy. Unless you get bottles, bottles are a pain in the ass because they're like, I don't know what it is in Sea of Thieves, but like glass bottles are like the most fragile thing on the planet here. Which. Which honestly makes sense because it's glass and glass is brittle, but like when glass breaks, when you just do a hop, like when you just jump up and down, <laughs> like and then you know you have a really shitty glassmith going on. Alright, now for the obligatory raid the <laughs> raid the barrels outside the shipmaster's hut. Just to see what kind of items we have. My ship's not going to look very impressive because a I don't really play this I don't play this game as much as I like. And also I really don't have much in fa as far as customization is concerned. Shame too because there's a lot of neat stuff in the game itself that you can dress your ship up with. And so we got pretty lucky with the spawn because there's a shipwreck not too far from the starting outpost. I mean, I said this video was going to be short, I didn't realize it was going to be this short. Oh, well, maybe we'll get a, uh, a quest somewhere in here. I've actually not seen any, like, just random quests in barrels lately. I wonder if they got rid of that in the last couple updates. I haven't read the patch, the patch notes in depth, so I don't really know. No, not that. Alright, let's see what we can find. Pomegranate. Banana. Captain's chest. Generally, you're not going to find too extravagant loot. You're not going to find like extravagant loot on a uh, shipwreck because they really want to incent. They want more incentive to do the like quest for the various different merchant types. So we're not going to be making a whole lot of gold coins off this. This is just something simple to do. Typically, I don't really like bothering with the TNT barrels, but yeah. If you have it, might as well use it or sell it, something like that. Oh, a skull. Neat. Like it. Also, it's always bothered me that you can't pick up uh, more than two items when you just have one hand occupied. Like, more than one small item, too. Like, <laughs> like I could definitely carry a pomegranate in one hand and a skull in the other. Like, in real life, just saying. Yeah. 
I'm, I'm stuck. Ooh, I found some tea. This is probably ruined just from sitting in the salty, uh, in the salty sea for God knows how long. Like I basically have pickle, uh, pickled tea leaves right now. Oh, I gotta wonder what that would taste like after it's been brewed. Probably wouldn't taste that. Probably wouldn't taste that good. I just realized I didn't check the captain's quarters. And there's a marauder's chest in here. Neat. Um, looks like that's about everything. I'm not going to check the barrels, actually. Yeah, I think it's mostly just weapons and food, which I'm just playing by myself and I'm, I'm not going to be doing anything too strenuous, so I'm not going to bother. Alright. Oh, I just turned slightly. And then we just turn around and go back to the outpost. Hmm. He's a skelly man. There's another ship out there in the distance. I cannot tell what direction they're facing. But it looks like they're just anchored at full sail. Oh, they're raising their sail now. Now as my ship slowly careens and actually I'm gonna get a little closer. Alright, now as my ship slowly careens to a stop, I'm going to just hop off and deposit my chest. which is worth more, the Hateful Bounty Skull or the Captain? I think the Skull is worth more. I also did not see how much that was worth. Those we'll see, I'll see in editing. <laughs> Just the gunpowder barrel. That was a reaper's chest. Oh, this is gonna hurt me. Ow, my legs. Missed it by that much. Lies. And they're just going to do a cargo run. Goodbye. Like I said, I haven't really done much in this game, so the quest offers from the merchants aren't going to be worth a whole lot. Shit. Wait, no, shit. There we go. 
Okay. Uh, collect three crates in the name of Charles from the sanctuary outpost. Is this sanctuary? Yes, it is. I hope to God I don't get fabrics, because... I, I hope it's just plants and fa... Uh, I hope I just get plants, because those are the easiest to get to keep track of. Because all you have to do is just dump some water on them and they're fine. Hmm. Good day. Uh... How's the Merchant Alliance? Wait. Our business is done. Who do I talk to for these? Uh, the order of the Merchant Alliance uh, requested to collect three in the name of Charles from Sanction. Okay, so it's, I forget who the hell is Charles. <laughs> like the way it's worded, I'd assume I'd have to collect them from the Merchant Alliance. Okay, you are Charles, okay. Okay, there's plants, and also I cannot fucking see <laughs> shit. Like, the way it's worded, it definitely sounds like I'm supposed to collect it from the Merchant Alliance person and deliver it to Charles, not go to Charles at Sanctuary Outpost and collect the shit, the, collect the crate. Whatever, I didn't make the game, so. Okay. Here are the bottles. They're... Like, if I jump at all, these things are just going to instantly start cracking. I think they'll even start cracking if I sprint, so... Moving these is going to be very, very slow going. And, of course, more bottles. Okay. Uh, Sarah got the North Star Sea Post. Okay. Right, so these are all going to the same place. Um, where is... I'm assuming it'd be on the north side of the map. No? Okay. Where is it in the center? There it is. Okay, so basically I have to go southeast. I think I'm too I think I'm gonna hit the dock here. I may also hit the rocks. <laughs> hmm, there's another ship. Looks like he's sailing away. Since I'm on a time crunch with the delivery, I'm just going to snag one barrel from this clutch. And, eh, doesn't really have much. Oh my fucking god, are you kidding me? Not good, not good, not good. Motherfucker. So 
hope to god they don't hit me with an anchor ball. That'd be a real dick move. Okay, taking on a lot of water. Oh yeah, I didn't just sink. And I just sank. No, I, apparently I'm still going. And the wheels busted shit. I'd appreciate it if you guys just fucked what. And they hit me with a dance ball, oh my god. And the mast is broken. God damn it. Stop blowing holes in my ship. Uh, this is all going to shit. I... Of their guns. Sort of. As long as it's really good that they don't have forward facing cannons. And I am out of wood, so. Oh, and I'm in the wind now, shit. And there's, I'm dead. Guys, I think I might lose the ship. <laughs> uh, good news, I f uh, good news, I found Cannon Cove. Oh, that's not good for me. Excuse me. Pardon me. Pardon. Shit, I can't drop the anchor. Don't have food. I sold their bananas. Don't worry, guys. <laughs> this is not how I wanted the cargo mission to go whatsoever. <laughs> oh, I never noticed there was an actual. I never noticed there was a sun here. Or is that the moon? I think that's supposed to be the sun. I think I'm 
gonna come back to a sun sunken ship now, cause... Okay, I'm here. Yep. <sighs> well, that was stupid. 